This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. I've done a few videos on here uh, talking about uh, dating people that have depression. Uh, my bottom line is that if you if you meet a girl and you find out in advance that she has depression or she's bipolar or whatever, I'm not in the habit of trying to date those kind of people. I know people might be empathetic towards them or think like, oh, depressed people need love too. Bipolar people need love too. My thing is this, if starting out, uh, getting to know a person and getting to a relationship is already going to be hard without extra stuff thrown to it. And the mechanics of having to date a depressed person and having to date a person that's going through bipolar or any one of these kind of mental issues, again, you can feel empathy for them, but it's going to make your life harder if you take that on. It's different if like you start dating somebody and then you find out midway through like, oh, she's been kind of acting weird all of a sudden. Let's get her diagnosed. Oh, she's got depression, but we've been dating for a year. At that point, you now, it's a little bit harder to just break out of that. And so even with that, is the person taking their medicine? Is the person like doing regimens that keep that stuff under control? Are they seeing a therapist? If they're doing those things, then maybe I could say, okay, then you might want to continue to stick around in that situation. But a lot of people aren't. And so do you want to stick with somebody who's not taking medicine and not doing all the things to make sure that their mental state is relatively good enough to where they can be stable around you for the most part. And I've seen people that have dated people that have these things. And when they have episodes or when they go through a thing, it is not pretty. And again, I can feel empathy for them. I don't want to go through that myself personally, right? So this guy left two comments, left one under one video, one under another video. So the first one, he said, um, I noticed a possible gap in your video offerings. You don't seem to have a video about what to do when a woman does a 180 based on the advice of a friend, like as in, Things are going quite well, but then she talks with her friend and all of a sudden she wants distance. And what did they talk about? Stuff you already thought you got past from a month ago. And their advice, quote, it'll be obvious when you find the right one. Meanwhile, she seems to be having a depressive episode. So then under the video I did called, she keeps canceling our dates. Could it be depression? Same guy said, the trouble with depression is that it can cause the person to lose enjoyment for almost everything. They can become completely apathetic having difficulty getting out of bed even. Maybe a woman wouldn't make time for you even if she likes you when she is having a depressive episode. I don't know. It is friggin' hard to figure this particular woman out. And I think you left another comment that I wasn't able to post, paste up here. But okay, so let's, let's answer some of these questions, right? So for starters, going to this, we know she's going through depression, right? So when he says like, you know, things are, are going great and then all of a sudden her friend says something to her about like, oh, well, are you sure he's the one? Because if he was the one, it would be so super obvious, which is, by the way, not true. But that's beside the point. Um, so if you're dating a woman that's easily persuaded by her friends when they say, oh, I don't know about him or, well, you know, things seem kind of weird or I would I don't know if I would date him because, you know, it doesn't seem so obvious. Like you don't have the same tingles as this other guy you dated, blah, blah, blah. Let her go. Like a woman that's able to be that influenced by her friends is not a, a girl you want to keep around. But also this is also why, by the way, just FYI. When you first start dating a woman, the goal is to go three months of dating where it's just you and her. If you are agreeing to meet her friends or talk to her friends in the beginning, they might not have a, a full idea of who you actually are and how you are because she hasn't spent enough time with you on her own to defend who you are. And, it, and her friends are going to be very easy to persuade her to think about you otherwise, you know? So with that said, I'd already be out. But on top of, she also has depression. So now she's. 180 on her thoughts about you. And also she's having difficulty getting out of bed. And also she's going through a depressive episode. And now she's being apathetic towards dating you. Even if you were in a relationship with her and she started doing this stuff, the question is, are these actions that you want to have to experience dating somebody who's going through this? Like if she had depression or she didn't have depression, I don't want to date somebody who's apathetic towards me. I don't want to date somebody who is willing to cancel dates because, oh, I just don't feel it today. I don't want to date somebody that can't get out of bed. And so, again, I can feel sorry for her, but the reality is I know over time, dating this kind of person, it would stress me the heck out. It would cause me to start questioning if she liked me or not. And I don't like to live in Atlanta, maybe. I don't want to live in Atlanta, mixed signals. I could very well know, oh, she's going through a depressive episode today, but like, I still have to live with that. I still have to deal with the consequences of that. So, if I go out with a girl after a couple of dates and she says, oh, just, you know, I have depression, I'd already be out. 
Like, I don't care if we hooked up. I don't care if I was getting good vibes. The depression part is too big of a scenario to not ignore. I mean, it's too big of a scenario to try to ignore, you know? If she told me, hey, I, I had bouts of depression, but you know what? I'm on medicine now. I'm seeing a therapist and I've got it pretty much under control. I'd still probably be apprehensive because let's be real, okay? A lot of the medicines out there for depression and bipolar, et cetera, cause weight gain. And what will happen is a woman will take a medicine for a while. She'll start to gain weight. Her face will break out. And then she'll be like, oh, I don't like the way this makes me feel, which I get because you don't want a medicine that makes you feel bloated or feels disgusting or you're gaining weight from it. I feel disgusting. I don't want to take this anymore. Okay, great. She loses the weight. And now she has an episode where she's depressed again. So I'm losing on two fronts. So if I am being told early on that a woman has this, I will gracefully bow out and say, hey, you know what? Best of luck to you. I hope somebody comes along that will be able to handle what you are dealing with. I wouldn't say this out loud to them, but I know I can't do it. And so I'm out. Like I'm out. I'm sorry. There are too many women out there in the world that don't have a high level of depression, have a relatively good amount of self-esteem and aren't going through various issues. And again, we're going to say that most women on average are already going to feel some kind of like anxiousness about themselves, or they're going to look at their bodies a certain way and be like kind of depressed. So women already are coming from a level of like, on some level, the world has beat them down enough to where they're going to feel not always, um, um, they're not always going to feel confident about themselves. They're not going to always feel like they're in a great place. And so that's just a regular woman. So now we're going to add depression on top of that. Get the freak out of here. So yeah, I would say as bad as I feel for the girl, I'd be out. Like, cause all you're going to be keep, keep saying is like, oh my God, it's so hard to figure her out. That, that falls into the land of mixed signals. And I don't like living in the land of mixed signals or the land of maybe. And so you trying to hit up a girl and not knowing from day to day, if she's going through a depressive episode or a manic episode, or if she said yes to a date, but then she all of a sudden says, oh my God, then my world just ending. And then also I know as guys, we like to be the superheroes of the girl that we're with and wear the cape. I don't want to have to wear the cape every day. Like if I'm with somebody that's going through depression, I can wear the cape every single day and I got to, oh, are you okay today, princess? Are you, I don't, I just, I don't want to do that. Now, if you, as the guy want to go through that, Hey, best of luck to you. I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope to God that she ends up being a person that's more balanced than not. But I'm saying there's 3 billion other women out there. And a lot of them are willingly single and willing to date you. They have a good head on their shoulders. They came from great families that aren't going through these depressive episodes. We all go through stuff, but like ideally a woman at this age has been able to work through her trauma, has been able to do the things to be, to be back in a, in a good mental space and be able to date. If they're not, I can feel sorry for them. I do not have to date them. You can, you know, agree or disagree with me in the comments about that. You can say, oh, Harry, that's so not fair. You're being disabled or, or depressionist or whatever. It's just, again, don't think I haven't been through some stuff, guys. Like I have, I have dated women who have told me about their trauma stories and about, oh my gosh, like my mom didn't pay me enough attention as a kid. And oh my God, it's not fun to date them. So I don't. So I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't suggest it to you guys. I would suggest, again, find somebody else that doesn't have that stuff. They are out there and they are available. Don't. Don't go after low-hanging fruit. That's what I'm saying.